guys welcome back to the velvet hunt of 2022 we're super pumped um austin's hunting i would hunt but my bow's in the shop right now but we're gonna try to arrange some but we will keep y'all posted on that later but as for now we're gonna be sitting in a ground blind uh we we, we have the pretty good odds we're hunting the evening it's about 2 30 right now we'll, we'll be set by about 3 30 4 o'clock so some time around there and uh stay tuned and hope we'll, we'll get a deer see y'all Alright guys, we're in the stand. It's uh, 421 and uh, we're sitting on top of a ridge here and uh, we're hoping that something comes through. It's about 90 degrees, hopefully it cools it down. I'm dripping sweat, but I'm excited. So. Alright guys, so we've already talked about earlier whenever I was talking about how I didn't have a bow and stuff. So uh, if a deer comes in super close, uh, Austin has been kind enough to, to let me shoot it. If it gets within like 10, 15 yards around that range and I'm feeling comfortable with it, I'll, I'll, I'll take the shot. Um, I will have my bow for the rest of bow season though. It's gonna be the only video where I don't have it. But other than that guys, we are just getting set and we'll catch on a bit. All right guys, so down there, there's two does and a baby and a four point just walked out and if it is about 200 yards away so if it does make its way over here uh I, i'm definitely gonna shoot it He just laid down again, so we'll give it a bit longer. He's at 25 above the bucket. Yeah, he's at 25.
Mark. Oh, missed. So we actually just climbed down. It's about 6:30. So we have about an hour and 15 minutes until until it's the end of shooting light. Um, we are gonna move locations. We're gonna go down the hill where we saw a bunch of deer, and we'll catch back up with y'all in a bit. Cool. Let's go post up down here. So we got resituated uh, in, this, in this small field where you saw all the deer. We actually saw a doe coming back. Because as we were all the way down, we, we kind of spooked some of the deer, but they were on their way back. So we quickly got down along this tree line. The deer should be coming from somewhere over there. And uh, we'll see. I'll keep y'all posted.
All right, guys, so we didn't have any luck this morning, but we're now at the place daily getting food. I'll catch back up with you in the afternoon. All right, guys, so we are back for the second half of day two. I'm here with Austin, and I have my own bow today. Uh, I'm using a really good friend of mine. He, he, he was kind enough to let me use his. Um, but yeah, we are hunting out of a blind. Uh, it's pretty close from here, so we don't have to walk up a mountain like we did yesterday. So we'll catch up with that whenever we get back to the, to the blind. All right, guys, so we just got set in the blind. It's currently four o'clock on the dot. This deer came out about 4.30 yesterday. Yeah, so the deer came out about 4.30. So we just walked a tree line. Just so we could reduce them as much as possible. We kept all of the winds blowing behind us. So we kept all our scent away from where they And Austin set up the blind this morning, which which on the first day that the blind is out is always the best day to hunt it because the deer are going to be a bit confused, but they won't think as much of it. Um, but, yeah, so we I'll show you all the view. I think it's a pretty good shot. All right, guys, this is our view. This is where all the deer were last night. So... All right, guys, so that's it for the video. I'm sorry that the video kind of cut off there. Uh, after the hunt, we really just kind of packed up and went. We didn't really film an outro. Uh, but anyway, guys. We were uh, hungry. We, uh, we, were, we were quite hungry. We, we had to ease on over to Subway. But, I mean, we, we had a great velvet hunt. It was fun. Uh, so, obviously, I had a chance on a deer. We saw a bunch. So, we're just waiting for regular deer season overall. It was a good time, though. And, um... I'm fired up. I don't know about you. We got less than a month now. All right, guys. And Austin is actually going to Illinois uh, this year again. And Iowa. And Iowa. So Austin is going to have uh, a good opportunity to kill some monster deer. Just I'm filming for sure. Last year, I didn't film just because it was first year. I was kind of getting used to the farms and whatnot. But this year, 100% going to film. I'll be in Illinois for a week and a half, and I'll be in Iowa for a week. That gives me about three weeks in total to get it done on some monsters. So... So yeah, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for the, for these upcoming deer season posts where we're, we're going to hopefully smoke some deer this season. So wish us luck and, and good luck to y'all out in the woods. See y'all.